A polynomial function of degree three, p of x, has a root or zero of multiplicity two at x equals five, and a root or zero of multiplicity one at x equals negative three. The graph of p of x contains the point zero comma negative 37.5, find p of x. Whenever we are given the roots or zeros of a polynomial function, we are also given binomial factors of the polynomial function where if a polynomial function has roots or zeros of r sub one, r sub two, r sub three, and so on, then the polynomial function can be written in the form as shown here, where a is a constant, and notice each binomial factor is in the form of x minus the root or zero. And because we have a degree three polynomial function, we will have three binomial factors. Our polynomial function will be in the form p of x, equals a times the quantity x minus r sub one times the quantity x minus r sub two times the quantity x minus r sub three. And now looking at the given information, we are told the polynomial function has a root or zero of multiplicity two at x equals five, which means x equals five is a double zero or double root of the polynomial function, which means two r values will be positive five Let's let r sub one equal five and r sub two equal five. And then we have a root or zero of multiplicity one at x equals negative three, which means this is a single root or single zero, and therefore r sub three is equal to negative three. Performing substitution gives us p of x equals a times the quantity x minus five times the quantity x minus five again, Notice because x equals five has multiplicity two, we have two factors of x minus five, and then because the root of zero of x equals negative three has multiplicity one, we have one factor of x minus negative three. Let's simplify x minus negative three to x plus three. Let's also write this as the quantity x minus five squared. So we know p of x is equal to a times the quantity x minus five squared times x plus three. Now we need to find the value of a using the given point, which is a vertical or y-intercept. Because we are given the point zero comma negative 37.5, we know that p of zero must equal negative 37.5. Using this information, we now substitute zero for x and negative 37.5 for the function value here. This will allow us to find the value of a. Performing the substitution gives us negative 37.5 is equal to a times the quantity zero minus five squared times the quantity zero plus three. Simplifying, we have negative 37.5 equals a times the square of negative five, which is 25 times three so we have negative 37.5 equals 75a. To solve for a, we divide both sides by 75. Simplifying on the right, we have a. a is equal to this quotient here, and negative 37.5 divided by 75 is equal to negative 0.5, or if we want, negative 1 half. Of course, if we needed to, we could check this on the calculator, which I've done here. Now that we know the value of a, we can write the polynomial function that satisfies all of the given conditions. The polynomial function that satisfies all of the given conditions is p of x equals a, which we now know is negative one half or negative 0 0.5 times the quantity x minus five squared times the quantity x plus three. I hope you found this helpful.